hear the voices that came to me for crying now we're plunging into darkness. Night two of Rebel Salute was another stellar night of big performances back to back. But in the wee hours of Sunday morning, time was running out. Two of the acts who fell victim to the time cut were Jacure and Bushman. People, you see how long me a hold it. Me not nah talk. The folly we are going backstage, you know, like some other artists, you know. But just I said, the show need extension of three days. Me tired for come past stage and people are push me around, my lad. A very emotional Bushman spoke to us after his very short stint on stage. Clearly, you're not very happy. Talk to us. What, what are your sentiments in this moment? Well, um, one other thing is that it's been 13 years since I have been active putting out singles. You know what I'm saying? But when you do good music, it really gives a longevity, social commentary, and it's quite contemporary. It never dies. That's the joy about Bushman and the backbone and the love we have for the music because I couldn't use this platform to talk about silly things or personal stuff like the amount of money when me earn or the car when me drive or the girls when me have or something like that. You know, so over a period of time, the music has treated me so bad. You know, and who work? Bridget, you tell me, say, me I work seven o'clock, right? We there from four. We learn say, time, I run, so we now but I work seven. Bridget, the people are out there for Bushman, you know, because they requested Bushman. There's no day I could leave all the fans hanging. No day. So they must say, come on the stage and come sing one tune. How could I be waiting for so long and sing one song, doing rehearsal to and fro from Kingston to St. Thomas and drive from St. Thomas to Ochi Rios? People flew in from far to hear Bushman. Everyone has their, 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 their personal fan base. You know what I'm saying? That we have to live up to. You know what I'm saying? And when an artist is doing things like this to a next artist, it's not great, man. But we still have a world of prestige because over the years, it has been said that I have this, I have this attitude. So growing in the business, it has taught me to be quiet. And it works, it pays off. And now, when I'm reaping the benefit, I see obstacles. I'm still have all my humility. Now, when time I go up there, you see the impact because people are weird upon this. And then you tell me now, say, me I go stop halfway in my thing. I mean, 2016, they stopped me in, at 18 minutes when I got 20. Last year, they stopped me at 19 when I got 20. This year they, got, they gave me 25 and I never even got the chance to do 20. So what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? But we still have the music and the love of the music is there and we never change. But the music, yo, we know say it have obstacles and yo, Bridget, I prefer cry more than some people get a write-up about stupid stuff, Bridget. You know what I'm saying? So do give thanks. Rebel Salute is this platform that's growing and I think it should have three nights now. Because... The shows over the last decade and a half are being overbooked. Artists aren't getting the time, that, 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 that quality time that they need to express themselves to their fans and the people who pay their hard-earned cash to come and see us perform. And I think that should be addressed. You know what I'm saying? Do give thanks. I'm glad to be here today, Sunday morning to perform for my fans and the Aryan people who come for 25, 26 years to Rebel Salute. Peace, bless and on I, stage. And I have to tell you personally that your voice was like amazing wow. on the stage just now. And before anybody calls you, let us let it be said that when you were on stage, you were, you were asking, listen, let's have another day of Rebel Salute. Right. You weren't cussing the promoters and no, going on no, bad because you know, them, I, they, I they would love to say them something. I learned not to, mm -hmm. but I've seen it. 
I've seen where this has grown. Even St. Mary I come from, Cape Town need to consider an extra night. Because St. Mary I come from is growing. And this one night won't work. It causes animosity, my lord. And it's sad for us to be sitting for so long and then I grab off a mic. It's not professional, B. True. So we need to address that star. We need to. And yo, it's been a while, you know, I get no local shows. I, 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 mean, I mean, I've reached out to people. I'm, I've been doing music. I've released my album, Conquering Lion, earlier last year. It's, it's an independent project that I've done for myself, executive producer. I, myself, and Sydney Mills mixed it at my studio and Mercy Studio in America. And um, we work with some of the best in the music business. The likes of a Earl Chena Smith, a Chris Meredith, Squidly Cole, Philip, D Philip, Philip James, which works with Juna Gang, Dylan White. You know, Philip James have this bad label called Over Standout, Gunman World and all them bad songs. Philip James responds for those, you know what I'm saying? So the music is growing and if we don't pay attention to our music, it's slowly slipping away from us, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Bridget, I've brought songs to the radio station which them tell me said the content of it too political the content is too is too is too what it's a graphical you know what i'm saying and them song they don't play i mean some stupid songs being beeped out and guess what you can't fool the youths because we are learning them things the front age of three the boy dash to school and we fulfill the blank space so when you beep it we are automatically going to fill the blank spaces you know what i'm saying so where are we going Where's the morals of the people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like it's hurt for you to say the right things, you know what I'm saying? Queen Africa said it earlier on. Like, if you try to do good, you're a dinosaur in this world, man. Where are the morals of the people, you know what I mean? I said, the women, they last, Bridget. The kind of songs that I see them dance and reel to, it's crazy. It devalues the women, you know what I'm saying? And where we're going with it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wonder if these raided this jack don't have kids. And if you're not a mom or a dad, you have nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying? So what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Yo, music is a platform for self-expression, which we do express ourselves. I would never fight against no one's self-expression. But why don't we regulate the music then? You know what I'm saying? These metropolitan officers that are taking away people's goods that are trying to earn. Honestly, why don't you get them to find these public transportation that plays music that are very lewd, that anyone can listen to. You know what I'm saying? The corner shops that the kids go to to buy their little lollipops and their little cheese chicks. Why can't you regulate why can't you give the broadcasting corporation some big fat one million dollar ticket fine for them derogatory music that's been playing on the radio airwaves? Who is going to address this? Everyone turns a blind eye to the craziness that's going on. And the music is the greatest teacher because remember this, who can read and write and you know, recite, you know. And if you're teaching a child and you say A, B, C, D, that child never learns. Sing that song to him. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In three minutes, four minutes, that, that child would learn that song. You know what I'm saying? And be learning his alphabet or his numbers. You know what I'm saying? So what? Music is the greatest teacher. Are we going to abuse it, son? What are we doing, yo? Yo. The morals, man, need to reset. You know what I'm saying? Rastafari. Blessings, sir. All the best for 2019. Oh. And uh, for Conquering Lion, I have this new video that's slated to be released on the 1st of February. It's called Somewhere, which speaks of the situation that we're in now. And we're not building this platform for the generation next, which is the kids. You know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, like, parent parent need to know I mean like as I said before whether you bear a kid or not you have responsibilities you have roles to play the dude role model is not something of choice as long as you're an entrepreneur you're dominant in whatever you do someone wants to be you you are a role model so we need self-awareness self-value you know me I say and then 
it will build our self-confidence, you know what I say? And a man with self-confidence cannot be defeated. Where are we today? Check out the new album Conquering Lion with morals and whole heap of substance. Lyrical content is great. Check out my new video that's about to be released the 1st of February somewhere. Rastafari, give thanks and praise. Well, I don't have pressure to turn because you don't know, everybody know me when I talk my mind, I talk my mind. But today I got easy and play the, the cool kid, you know what I mean? So turn up, let's fix up the artist part next year because there's some nice artists where even I wouldn't want to watch them. I wouldn't mind standing up on the stage and listening to Bushman. He's great. He's a legend. He's an icon. Joseph Ilson, great. Peter Touchstone, one of my favorite. I love listening to Andrew Touch. He's exclusive, different. So watch this now. Make we fix it, but at least we get a little piece, a little joy, and some fans and come to me and rough me up. If you take it, everybody see it publicly. There's no, oh, how are you? Rebel, I say, I'm me. So, I can't take the blame. So, Rebel, don't feel no way if I say, I turn Rebel. Yeah. You better mature the blame on you, Rebel, than Jackie will take it. But I can't drive away. I came with here this morning and I said, you know, so I end up going to leave because nobody not on a time. I said, I want to do this. I really love music. I love singing. I'm going to come out here to sing about 30 songs. I'm only to sing two, but I'm grateful. So, at least it makes me feel good to know I can go out to the river, to the beach, and have a good Sunday. I'm a conscience set me look free because. It's not about the money. It's not about it's about my fans and a long time me not far with one rebel salute. And me just so sorry for no say the timing end up this way and me never get fi can give more to the fans and some other artists get a chance to give more. Me not have no new hit tune. I'm here to so me I work seven o'clock. I'm still reach from the, the, the stage after what. Brother, me have to sing my music, you know. I mean yeah. I itch. I have to sing my music. Yeah, now mercy, mercy on them, mercy on them so. And it goes to the man love it when the sun shines every day Cause in style and show I mean set down town No love will rain and fall Back down for those Hey, who knows?